Hey everyone, so a while back my husband and I went through Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and I did a little mini series about it here on my channel. I talked to you guys about our experience in the class. I also did a video on how we budget and how we do the cash envelope system. If you guys are interested in checking those videos out, I will have them linked in the description box so you can go watch them. But lately in the last like six months, I want to say, I have been getting so many questions from you guys wanting to know, are we still on the Dave Ramsey plan? Do we still do the cash envelope system? Has our budget changed a bunch since we've uh, moved and so today I thought I would just do an updated cash envelope system video and kind of answer some of those questions that you guys have. So yes, we are still doing the Dave Ramsey plan loosely. We've always done it loosely. We take some of Dave's principles and some other principles and kind of mesh them together and make it work well for us. We are still doing the cash envelope system. I have not stopped. We've been doing the cash envelope system ever since we found out about it. It just works really well for us. So many people in my real life make fun of me for it. Like, oh, did you check it out of the right envelope? Oh, you better not get your money confused. But I, whatever, I don't care if they make fun of me for it. It works well for us. Um, since we've been doing it, our finances have just kind of run so much smoother and I'm very happy with it. So we continue to do it. So um, I still have my cash envelope system in the same wallet that I had it in the last time. Really, honestly, guys, not much has changed with it. Even our budget, we might have added like a few different categories here and there, but really how we budget is exactly the same. Um, and how we do the envelope system is pretty much the same as well. So um, I actually bought this wallet before we did the Dave Ramsey plan. I've had it for a while. And I used to use like this plastic like accordion file folder thing when we first started and I had it all labeled and had the cash in each slot. But for me, I just kind of felt it was like really embarrassing to pull this big plastic thing out and try and fish through and find the right money that I needed. I also didn't want to have it like way open so everyone could see all of my cash and I was at the cash register. So I decided to ditch that and go with a wallet and I have been loving it ever since. Um, when, in the last video I did about our cash envelope system, I showed you guys these. These are the tabs that I used to use. Um, I just took an index card and took like a little um, post-it note tab and I put it on there and then we used my mom's laminator and laminate it, not laminator, um, yeah, laminator. I'm thinking label maker, laminator, they're all confusing to me. We took the laminator and we laminated them so that they were nice. However, when I put them in my wallet, they were a little bit too long, so the zipper would constantly catch it. So they started to kind of rip and just become a mess. So I decided to ditch these, and my mom and I actually just recently changed them up a little bit. So here is just a little look inside my wallet. So this is what our cash envelope system looks like. It's basically the same thing that it was, um, but instead of using that sticky note, my mom actually thought it'd be a good idea just to cut the tab into the actual index card and this way it fits so much better. So we did that, I wrote on them and then we use a laminator to laminate them so they're nice and hard and they don't rip very easily. So that is how I do it. And I will just kind of talk to you guys about the different um, sections that I have. So this one right here, um, it doesn't have a little tab because this is my personal spending money and I always have it in this same slot so I'm never worried about what it is. I know it's my personal spending money. David gets his personal spending money and he has that in his own wallet. So my first little section here is for groceries and that I, I always put the money behind the section. So I have one for groceries. The next one is for entertainment. That's basically just whenever David and I are together. So if we go out to eat, it comes from our entertainment money. Um, if we go to the movies, if we go out with friends and we get a drink, it all comes from that um, little entertainment slot. Also, if we get like a gift card, our brother-in-law, well, my brother-in-law, David's brother, gave us a P.F. Chang's gift card, so that goes in there too. That way it's just kind of easily tucked in and we know to use that first if we go to that restaurant. Um, something new that I've added recently is a clothing envelope. It's kind of weird calling these envelopes because they're not really envelopes, but that's basically what they are. I added a clothing envelope because recently I've been purchasing more clothing for spring and summer and I wanted to have a place I could put it because I've just kind of been folding it up and trying to stick it someplace so I know what it is. But I just decided I'm probably going to start taking more money out for clothing every once in a while so I decided to make it its own little tab. So that goes behind entertainment. Then I have a section for Remy. Um, every month I budget a, you know, a little bit of money to pay for her food and other things that she needs. So she has a slot here. Um, so any money that she needs for food and all that will go behind that. And then I have a section for home, which doesn't have anything behind it right now. And that's for if we need salt for a water system, if we need air vents for AC, um, if I want to buy some candles, um, it all comes from that section. I don't know what's going on with my bangs driving me nuts. 
Uh, then I have a section for birthday, and this, honestly, I don't have in my wallet all the time. I only have it in here right now because we have a lot of parties coming up that I need to buy gifts for. So that's why that's in there, but whenever there's not a party coming up or anything like that, I have this one put away with any money that goes with it just because I don't want to hold all that cash in my wallet for no reason. Same thing with vacation. I do have this one in here right now because we are going to go on a trip soon, um, so I have a little bit of cash for this. Um, but again, if we're not going on vacation anytime soon, it is tucked away and I don't have it in my wallet. Same thing with the last one, and that is for Christmas. I don't need this right now because it's nowhere near Christmas, so this one, again, gets left at home. And honestly, it looks like I have um, a very full wallet, and that's because I've recently stuffed the envelopes. But honestly, I don't have that much cash on me at all times. I know a lot of people in my previous video were saying, like, aren't you worried about having that much cash on you? Honestly, I really don't because... When I go to the bank and I start to stuff them, I usually go to the grocery store within the next couple of days and buy groceries and that money is pretty much spent. Same thing, I'll go get money out for Remy and the pet store is really close to our bank so I'll go and get her food and that money is gone right away. Um, gas, we use our actual debit card just because it's easier to do it that way but we do have a, like a budget for that but it just comes out of the debit card because that's just the way we like to do it. Um, so yeah, this is our cash envelope system. It works really well for us. Any money that David needs, he has his own way of keeping track of all of that. But this is what I do. I love having an actual wallet um, and not having like a little accordion thing. It just, it just works better for me and I do have like a section for change as well and I always send my change if I can. I just think it's nice to kind of get rid of that change but um yeah that is my updated cash envelope system I hope that you guys enjoyed it like I said if you're interested in more of these Dave Ramsey videos I have done quite a few so I'll go ahead and list them in the description box below if you guys have any more questions for me go ahead and um, leave them in the comment section below and I will try and answer them if you guys enjoyed this give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that just notifies you when I upload new content that you don't want to miss and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone it has been such a long time since I have done a day in the life of a housewife vlog and I know you guys really enjoy those types of videos so I figured I would go ahead and film one for you today.